is the Chris Abraham Show. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is Chris Abraham. This is uh, Season 5, Episode 4 of The Chris Abraham Show. And I am here, and it is, I think, what temperature is it? It is currently 61 degrees and uh, 7 uh, mile per hour southerly wind. 0% chance of uh, rain and sunny and I'm sitting out here in uh, Penrose Square on Columbia Pike and I'm going to talk about how uh, how haunted I am by housekeeping house cleaning and organizing my little space we'll talk more about that after the break Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is the Chris Abraham Show. This is Season 5, Episode 4. I am... Am I a hoarder? Am I a collector? Am I... Do I have arrested development? Am I stuck? Is this the result of my diagnosed ADHD? Or is it the result of my... Sorry about that. Or is it the result of my self-diagnosed um, aphantasia and SDAM? I know it's been something that I've struggled with since I was a kid. Um, it was the narrative in the Chris Abraham Child at Home uh, that I constantly uh, let my room become messy. And then when I tried to uh, clean it up, I would become inexorably stuck in what my parents called stylizing. Now, since I do not have the kind of visual memory that maybe all y'all have, where you can bring up photos in your mind's eye and hear voices and hear songs and hear music and see lyrics and refer to notes and see photographs and and so forth, my uh, buddy Mark Harrison reckons that the uh, reason my, why my mom called what I did, my mom and dad called what I did stylizing, is that when I, the only way I really can become nostalgic is when I reconnect with actual things. Like when I reconnect with photographs and when I reconnect with objets, da, when I reconnect with things that I own or things that I've bought and possess and that when I go to clean up my apartment I get caught in a whirlpool of nostalgia now I was really close I took Friday Saturday and Sunday to try to clean my apartment and it didn't work out because there was there's always a hidden junk bag that's filled with everything that I forgot that I own and then I've gone subsequently back to, to Amazon to repurchase. And I dumped it onto the floor as a way of incentivizing myself to, uh, to actually follow through and finish the cleaning. Uh, and that, that didn't work. And a bunch of, and Monday happened and a bunch of my clients want me to work a lot of hours this week. So I'm pushing it back off till Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, which means every weekend of my entire life forever is going to be an attempt at cleaning my apartment for spring cleaning once. So, uh, so catastrophic. I'm very close to hiring an organizer, but I'm also embarrassed, humiliated, and ashamed about uh, just being a 53-year-old man and not having the capability to at least do it once myself. My goal is always to do it once and then reach out to a cleaning uh, service. I have one, but I've put them off ever since Operation Bedbugs. Um, and then 
when it comes to organizing, I always want to get it done on my own once and then go to an organizer to try to kind of uh, make it permanent and make it more efficient. But I know that isn't how it works, right? So anyway, I'm going to try to get back into doing these recordings again. Um, I don't know if I told all y'all, but uh, Google nuked my uh, Chris Abraham account on on uh, Google, YouTube. And so uh, 1,500 of my home videos were nuked by Google. Um, I mean, I got a few strikes, and I mostly got my strikes as a result of these podcasts. And everybody told me that I shouldn't do these podcasts and upload them onto YouTube because I can be a little bit spicy and a little bit heterodox. But I don't know if I can uh, abide by that. So, uh, you know how I said how it's really important that I use uh, points of touch and things like videos and images and photographs and so forth as a way of uh, reconnecting with my memories. Well, every video that I ever took of my time in Germany uh, torched. C'est la vie. I guess I could have reached out to some of my uh, fancy Silicon Valley friends, but I was just so done with YouTube and their censorship and all that kind of stuff that I I just couldn't deal with it anymore. You know, you don't realize how loud this uh, this beautiful plaza is until you try to do a recording here. So I desperately apologize. This seems to be a thoroughfare for not only buses, but also um, commercial vehicles, mostly uh, high torque, um, low range, extremely loud transmission sh- sounds and uh, and uh, air braking and diesel sounds. Um, and of course, there's a guy with a, a weed whacker out in the distance or something. I don't know if all you can hear this. I have a muff on it, but aside from that, I'm really enjoy- enjoying watching American Idol. I really wish I had the pipes f- for piping. I would like to maybe take up singing as a hobby, not as a metier or as a vocation, but as a, a parlor trick. Like I think now... All I really care about is parlor tricks, and I would like to be able to, um, I don't know. We'll see. I might join, I might venture to join my Episcopal Church's choir again. I love, I love wearing dresses, so that's cool. Anyway, I love watching American Idol. This is such a good, none of the people are anybody that I care about, but they are all... I'll uh, I'll quote Katy Perry and say that and uh, Luke um, that uh, that this is definitely the best talent pool that they've ever had. And there's a uh, Hawaiian or maybe Tongan or Samoan, but a Hawaiian from Hawaii, like local guy uh, named Iam, who I'm rooting for. He's so Hawaii. He's so like beautiful, like big, like, um, like, uh, sweet, sweet, sweet. Like it's really disarming how like sweet, like not in a condescending way, but just lovely and sweet. Even the most big, huge, strong, muscly, like most menacing, uh, Hawaiian, Tongan, Samoan and Tahitian men, can be like how comfortable they are with crying and hugging and kissing and saying I love you Um, I think for 10 years of my childhood from like 6 to 16 I just saw the menacing part because as a Haole I don't think necessarily I was uh, allowed into the Ohana uh, the softness I was oftentimes at the ends of like um, you know pecking order challenges but as I really softened into uh, St. Louis school and became part of uh, St. Louis uh, you know sophomore junior and senior I think I had and and into my 20s and 30s 40s and now 50s I had been able to see that so Ian is like my boy on um, 
on uh, American Idol. And aside from that, I'm uh, plenty of work. Everything's going well with that. I'm mostly only doing SEO now. But aside from that, um, yeah, the place is still a mess. And every time I, what I'm trying to do is taking all the bags, you know, I'm obsessed with bags, right? Taking all of my sundry second and third tier bags, putting them in larger bags and then retiring them to my storage area so I can just get rid of clutter and focus on just using a few uh, favorite bags. But uh, I got to get them out of the apartment right away because I keep on like removing one and then removing another and like I need to double down and like really get rid of them into my storage area. I can use them later if I ever upgrade my apartment to a a house or a bigger place I can always you know move them back into the home but right now all they are is uh, chaos, distraction, clutter and you know as I rent like the building doesn't like clutter either so I feel like when the the uh, head, uh, the um, I guess the straw, the last straw on the camel's back was uh, when we discovered that I had bed bugs and the place was just too cluttered for an effective treatment, right? So um, I need to become minimalist again. So today when I get home or Friday when I plan to do it, I will literally take all the things that I've unpacked from my uh, from my closet, unpack from the bags that were going away, and I'm going to pack them up again. I'm just going to have one courier bag, one duffel, one backpack, and uh, one nice uh, cross shoulder bag, and I'll just keep this stupid. Um, look it up online. I bought a, uh, <laughs> I bought a replica of a movie prop from the movie The Ninth Gate, where that is a Roman Polanski movie that I saw recently online, and um, Johnny Depp was in it, and he played this book collector, book broker, book buyer, who tracks down all over the world on behalf of a rich client a book that was co-written by the literal devil and i think an italian um occultist and so there's this mad hunt for this and the entire time johnny depp uh shoulder carries um a musette bag a french army muse musette bag and they don't actually make that bag anymore. And when you can find them, they're either expensive or they're beat to shit. Or they're like, you know, they're beat up or they're, they've, you know, got the vestiges of mold on them. So there's a place in like Abu Dhabi or Saudi or UAE or something. And you can search for them. Search the Ninth Gate uh, replica bag. And you'll find it. It's about 75 or 79 or 85 Maybe it's $75 plus $10 shipping from Abu Dhabi. But I think I'm going to keep that because I'm obsessed with it. Then I'll keep a couple crossbody bags, one backpack, one rucking bag, one duffel bag. Yeah. One... Anyway, that's it. I am a hoarder, maybe? Or maybe having an efficiency apartment. Oh, and this is the worst thing that all is going to make all y'all really sad. Is I put in my promissory note that I'm committing, as of June, to another 13 months at my POS apartment, Dominion Towers, here in sexy South Arlington. So... I'm not going to be able to leave this town, really, I think, until I'm freaking 55. And I can't drive 55. So wish me luck. Wish me mahalos. And I hope all y'all are doing well. I forgot to say it. uh, uh, Happy Ramadan. Happy Passover. And happy Easter to all y'all, my friends. And uh, I'll try to get another one in the hopper sooner than later. I bought yet another freaking... Bought another freaking... What is it? It's a ICD UX570 Sony uh, digital recorder. So 
hopefully I'll find a quieter place because here comes the um, here comes the fire engines and I'll come back with how you can contact me I'll talk to you soon love you guys bye bye Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. So, the only song that I ever sing these days... Oh, this is Season 5, Episode 4. And I can't believe there are more fire engines. So, you're going to have to wait another second. I'll take a sip of coffee and let you experience this one. as sort of a terrifying ASMR experience. My name is Chris Abraham. You can reach me at chris at abraham.su. Uh, you can find me um, at Mastodon at, at chris at abraham.su. You can find me at Twitter at Chris Abraham. You can find me at Instagram at Chris Abraham. You can find me at TikTok, TikTok at Christopher Abraham or Chris J. Abraham. I don't know. Uh, you can find me uh, on uh, b -b -b Tumblr at Chris-Abraham. You can find me at ChrisAbraham.com. You can find me at uh, Facebook.com slash ChrisAbraham. You can text me at plus one two zero two three five two five zero five one. That uh, That's my real cell phone, so you can text me. You can telegram me, you can signal me, you can, um, what's the other one? Uh, blah, blah, blah. There's another one that everybody likes to use. I do not remember the bloody name. WhatsApp. You can WhatsApp me. And, um, what else? I think that's it. Um... Chris at Abraham.su gets my email. Uh, ChrisAbraham.com is my home base. And that's it. I'll talk to you soon. Mahalo, aloha, nui loa, ciao. Arrivederci, au revoir. Thank you for listening to The Chris Abraham Show. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Until next time.